Jack was a taxi driver in Boston. Most days he drove out to Logan International Airport and waited for people who arrived in the USA from other countries. On a very cold January night, a young woman walked up to his taxi. She had big bags. She was carrying a young boy and pushing a luggage trolley. She looked very small and very tired. Jack jumped out of his taxi. He took the bags from the luggage trolley. Where do you want to go? He asked. The young woman said, Cambridge. We're in Cambridge, thought Jack. Then he thought, it's okay. When we get to Cambridge, I will ask her again. The young woman climbed into the back seat of the taxi with the little boy. He was holding a blue toy rabbit. How much will it cost to go to Cambridge? asked the young woman. About thirty-five to forty dollars, said Jack. The young woman looked in her purse. Ah. I think I have enough money. My husband said, I will meet you at the airport, but he didn't come. I called him, but he didn't answer his phone. So I sent him a text message. I wrote, we are coming by taxi. I hope he got the message. Jack looked at her. She is going to cry, he thought. It's okay, lady, he said. Let's go. He watched the woman and the boy in his rear mirror. The boy was asleep. He was holding the rabbit tightly. The woman was half asleep. When they got to Cambridge, Jack said loudly, What's the address? The graduate student apartments on Salton Street. It's a big, tall building on a corner. When Jack stopped the taxi outside the building, a young man was standing outside. He ran to the car and looked inside. He opened the back door. I am so sorry. I got the day wrong. The time difference. Then I left my phone in the library. I just found it. Let me take Haru. He reached into the car and lifted the little boy out of the car. Jack took the woman's bags and put them on the pavement. The young man was still talking very loudly. The young woman climbed out of the taxi and gave Jack forty dollars. Is it enough? she asked. Yes, said Jack. It's fine. She smiled at Jack. Thank you. You are very kind. Jack drove away. The next day was cold, but it was sunny. Jack cleaned his taxi before he started driving. On the back seat he found the blue rabbit. Oh, no. I think the rabbit is that little boy's favorite toy. Maybe he can't sleep without it. Jack drove to the big apartment building. He parked his taxi and went inside. He looked at the names on the mailboxes. There were more than 50 mailboxes. What am I going to do? I know the little boy's name is Haru. And I think maybe the young woman was Japanese. The tags on the bags said JAL. I must ask someone. A tall African man came down the stairs and looked at his mailbox. Excuse me, said Jack. Can you help me? How can I help you? asked the man, 
I am looking for a young woman who lives in this building. Maybe her husband is a student. Maybe she is Japanese. They have a son called Haru. The man laughed. I want to help you. But this apartment building is for married students. Many small children live here. Many of the people who live here are from Asia. I don't know everyone. Oh dear, said Jack. What can I do? I don't know, said the man. You need more information, but good luck. He put his letters in his pocket and walked away. Jack went back to his taxi. Maybe I should give up. Then he had an idea. People who live in apartment buildings take their children to the park. I will go and look in the parks near here. He looked on his GPS and saw that there were three parks in the area. He locked the car doors and started walking. He was carrying the blue rabbit. Jack walked all around a big park. There were many parents with children. The children were running and playing on the swings and slides. He looked everywhere but he could not see the young woman and the little boy. He went to the next park. It seemed to be a place for older people. There were a few children, but he didn't see Haru. Jack was tired and he was worried. I should be working, he thought. He went to the last park. It was very small. There were seats and paths. Some people were riding bikes. Suddenly he saw the young woman and Haru. Haru was in a pushchair. His mother was sitting on a bench. She was holding the handle of the pushchair, but her head was down. Jack walked towards them. The woman was asleep. Haru was asleep too. He has been crying, thought Jack. Very quietly, Jack put the rabbit into the little boy's hands. He woke a little. Bunny, he said. He smiled. He held the toy tightly and went back to sleep. Jack smiled as he walked away. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more videos, press the bell icon and select all to get notifications.